Hello my beautiful sisters and handsome brothers, welcome back once again. This is uh, another presentation on board mass rule or sometimes we say bead mass, whatever you call it, okay. Um, uh, here we're gonna solve another three examples uh, because you really need a very good practice and you need to see all different types of the, the, the questions, you know, the, the problems uh, under the board mass rule. Uh, order of operation is very very important part in algebra, okay. So this will help you help you a little more to, to develop your your concept or your knowledge and both mass rule and try to do from your from your book a lot okay so let's start with the first one as i as i already mentioned you know at beginning step try to do one thing at one step okay like like let's let's go here like here we have a grouping thing you know a multiplication and then we have another thing uh, like like these two things we need to add okay so we will do one by one everything okay first here we'll finish this grouping then we'll multiply and then we'll add whole okay so let's do in the same way two times five if there is nothing then you have to remember that there is multiplication symbol okay and then plus three and then four plus three how much it is seven okay and in next step, you know what I will do? I will just remove this bracket. So it's 2 times 5. Or simply you can write 2 times 5, 10. It, it all depends on you. And 3 times 7. Okay. And further, 2 times 5 is 10. And you can also solve here. It's pretty much easy. But you can do in another step. It all depends on you, you know. But, you know, like more do you do practice and more faster you will do it. So it all depends on your practice. Do more practice and you'll be faster and faster. Phew, like rocket. <laughs> 3 times 7. That is 21 okay so now 10 plus 21 31 that's our answer okay let's do this second one in second one as you see here uh, first we have uh, you always have to do the most innermost you know like in the brackets like in our board mass rule if you see B O D M A S B stands for the bracket so we have to finish all the problems inside the brackets okay so we'll be doing that and the rest I will just copy Two in the big brackets five plus now I will solve this part okay and this whole thing is a square remember that so three divided by six you know that uh, six when you multiply five times you'll get 30 okay six times five is 30 so this will be five and this is actually squared okay bracket close so we did this part now let's go for the another part uh, now Still, we have one more bracket left, the bigger bracket left, okay? But you always have to remember that the innermost part we will solve first. So now here we have to do this thing, okay? So it's 2 in the bracket 5 plus. Now 5 square is 25, okay? Bracket close. Again, 2 innermost things we need to solve first. So we're going to add 5 and 25. So it's going to be in the bracket ocean. 30 inside the bracket. Which basically means 2 times 30, which is 60. That's our answer. So try to do everything one by one, okay? And now let's solve this part. Here you see, you know, this is basically, you know, like if I if I write it properly, it is like this. 6 plus 4 whole square. And this this is the symbol of, bra uh, of the division, okay? So it's 3 square times 4. This is what it is, you know, basically if you see horizontally so how to solve this now first we're gonna solve one by one again you know innermost first and then other parts okay so 6 plus 4 square divided by 3 square times 4 so we'll first square this part then this part then we'll solve the whole denominator then numerator and then we'll divide numerator by denominator okay this is how we're gonna proceed so let's go further 6 plus now square of 4 is 16 divided by square of 3 is 9 okay times 4 further now numerator you're solving in your own way denominator you're solving in your own way okay so 6 plus 16 is 22 and 9 times 4 is 36 okay now you can further cancel this uh, by 2 11 times by 2 18 times so 11 over 18 is our answer so see the process you know how we're doing we're doing one by one one by one little by little little by little let me give you one more example you know let's say we have a question let's say two it's a curly bracket okay <laughs> um, let's say 35 divided by 5 
you know uh, uh, again let's say plus uh, seven bracket close okay and uh, plus three two plus uh, seven okay let's say this is our expression so how are we gonna solve this again you know the innermost you need to first do okay the board mass rule what does it say b o d m a s brackets but inside the bracket you have to solve first the innermost so in the bracket also we have uh, we have three three types of the bracket you know like we have the big brackets we have curly brackets and then we have very very small brackets so we're gonna do this first okay according to that you know according to that first we need to solve this part and then this part and then this part and then further okay so let's first solve this two inside the curly bracket 35 divided by 5 that is obviously 7 right plus 7 curly bracket closes 3 and I'm just going to copy this 2 plus 7 bracket close and now 2 I'll finish this this curly bracket first okay so it's gonna be 7 plus 7 is of course 14 plus 3 if you want you can add now and if you want you can do in another step okay so I'm gonna add now uh, I'm not gonna add I'm gonna add I'm not gonna add I'm gonna add <laughs> it's your choice okay so it's nine cool so now you, you can just remove the brackets okay so it's two times 14 plus three times nine okay if there is nothing then there is multiplication remember that okay and this is the symbol of multiplication you also have to remember that thing further 2 times 14 is 28 and 3 times 9 is 27 so 8 plus 7 uh, 15 5 carry over 1 so 2 plus 2 4 and 1 5 55 so that's our answer or simply you can multiply 27 by 2 you know uh, 27 times 2 is 54 and 1 extra so 55 okay or simply in you know, a 7 times 2 14 and one more extra 15 right category one like that anyhow you just add it you know so this is how we have to see the order of operation you know uh, this is all about the board mass rule and more will deal about the board mass rule probably when it will come in our exercise sections uh, but now we're jumping to the next level okay i will see you guys in the next relations and if you're watching this video on youtube i will suggest you to go to watch this video from the website it's myacademy.com i'll give the link below because there you're gonna explore more things so you're gonna have everything systematically one after another one sometimes you'll have test quizzes and everything is in proper order managed okay so try to watch these videos or all lessons there you'll also have sometimes word explanations articles sometimes some uh, I, I miss some things in the video you know so i updates there so it's better to watch the videos from website all right and and as always don't forget to subscribe my channel also catch me on facebook and twitter okay and i will see you in the next video bye bye